JC is visiting a family living in a farmhouse in an old village. There lives a rich farmer named Rajbir who has announced that he will donate rice and wheat equal to his weight to the poor people of the village on his birthday. It all begins at Rajbir's house on the day of the occasion. Hello Bhola, what are you doing? <sighs> JC, I am arranging these sacks the way Rajbir has asked me to. This work seems to be very tiring. Bhola, do you need any help? Thank you, JC. How you are going to arrange these sacks? Rajbir, sir, has asked me to keep them together in one big sack in such a way that the weight of rice should be double the weight of wheat. Ah, I didn't get you. It's simple, JC. Can you read what is written on these two sacks? Rice 500 grams and wheat 5 kilograms. Good. Now, we have to arrange these sacks together in a big sack such that the weight of the rice sacks should be double the weight of the wheat sacks. Okay, but the weight of the rice sack is less than the weight of the wheat sack. Exactly. Let me show you how we will proceed. First, we need to convert the weight of wheat in grams. The weight of one wheat sack equals to 5 kilograms and the weight of one rice sack equals to 500 grams. Since 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams, 5 kilograms will be equal to 5000 grams. Okay, so if we keep one sack of wheat, then what weight of rice will be kept along with it? JC, if we keep one sack of wheat, then the weight of rice to be kept with it will be double the weight of wheat which is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 that is 10 kilograms or 10,000 grams. Okay, so how many sacks will this make up to? We will find this out by division. The number of sacks of rice we need to make 10,000 grams will be 10,000 grams divided by the weight of one sack of rice that is 500 grams we get 20 so we need 20 sacks so we have to keep one wheat sack of 5 kilograms along with 20 sacks of rice weighing 500 grams each into that big sack that means the total weight of the big sack will be equal to 5 kilograms of wheat plus 10 kilograms of rice that is 15 kilograms. You got it right. Come on Bhola, now start putting the sacks on the other pan. Okay. 15 kilograms. 30 kilograms. 45 kilograms and 60 kilograms Finally, the fifth sack that means 75 kilograms 75 kilograms? Is JC correct, Bhola? Yes, sir. Your weight is 5 sacks of 15 kilograms each. That is equal to 5 multiplied by 15, that is 75 kilograms. So, we are donating 75 kilograms of rice and wheat among our people. But Bhola, please tell me, what is the weight of rice and the weight of wheat individually? Sure. The weight of wheat that will be donated is equal to 5 sacks multiplied by 5 kilograms 
that is the weight of wheat in one sack which is equal to 25 kilograms while the weight of rice that will be donated is equal to 5 sacks multiplied by 10 kilograms that is weight of rice in one sack which is equal to 50 kilograms thanks for all your help bola you must be awarded with rice and wheat too so please allow me to sit on the pan <laughs> okay jc you can sit on the pan bola will get wheat and rice equal to your weight that's cool Two sacks. That is JC's weight. My weight is equal to two sacks of 15 kilograms. That is equal to two multiplied by 15 kilograms. That is 30 kilograms. That's correct, JC. And Bola, you will get wheat weighing two sacks multiplied by five kilograms. That is 10 kilograms. You will get rice weighing 2 sacks multiplied by 10 kilograms that is 20 kilograms. Excellent JC. You are very good with calculations. Thanks. Thank you sir. My pleasure Bola. Hello friends. Let's revise what we learned today. Mass is calculated in kilograms and grams. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 grams to convert kilograms into grams multiply kilograms by 1000 for example 12 kilograms will be equal to 12 multiplied by 1000 that is 12000 grams to convert grams into kilograms divide the grams by 1000 for example 8000 grams will be equal to 8000 divided by 1000 that is 8 kilograms that's all i have for now bye